there are some beautiful designs. If you can, yeah, yeah. I think only an engineer can call it a PCB <laughs> beautiful. It looks beautiful. There you go. Yeah. In your previous podcast, you were speaking that you're starting in 2D, essentially. Yeah. yeah. PCB design has been very much that. Yeah. Yep. But now you've thrown together a lot of other things. You can bring in the 3D shapes of your enclosure. You can put the 3D shapes of the components. You can literally have everything in one place and it yeah. gives you exactly what it's going to look like when it comes yeah. back. This to, to a mechanical engineer would be like, what the hell is that? That's a bloody mess. Um, and <laughs> my, it is. My, my wife calls this the traffic jam <laughs> yeah. because whenever I'm moving uh, components around, it's like r- rush hour. Oh, rush it's called hour, rush yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you can spend hours just trying to have a good PCB design mm. just because one component yeah, doesn't, in the doesn't way. fit yeah. there. <laughs> I remember some of my first um, data logger, you know, data loggers in a Deutsch box or whatever with BGAs where you're using nearly every pin oh, yeah. and you'd, you'd fan everything out, you'd place everything and then you start routing it, you route 80, 80% of the way there and there's just no physical way of yeah. you getting through. And then you go, oh, what am I going to do? I've got to reroute everything or I'm going to add more layers and I'm going to yeah. add more complexity. Yeah. And Look, the, the other thing is that then you think of an idea and say, what if this thing could do that? Yes. And it's that pin that's right in the middle and to access that thing, you've got to shift everything yeah. away and try and get that one out. Yeah, I yeah, mean. yeah. But it's a puzzle. 